So I've been quarantining between Slivington Manor and here at my boyfriend's house in Malibu. It's a beautiful sunny day and I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing here down in the boo. That's it. One of my favorite things to do is hang out with my puppies on the beach. Let's go. He always runs under the house. Okay. Come on, guys. How pretty it is. Prince, no, 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 come back. Stay up here. Oh, you love the sand. This is like literally trying to keep track of having four kids, like all running under the house. Come on, Prince. All right, at least you guys are listening. Okay, now it's time to play hide and go seek. Wish me luck. Prince, or who are you? They look like twins, so I can't tell. Them. Okay, that's another one. Okay. Prince, oh, come here. Yay, good boy. Harajukovic. Harajukovic, come here. Harajuku. This is beyond. Oh no, he escaped. Harajuku. Prince. Oh, you're so lame, Harajuku. Harajuku. Oh, she's pooping. All right, I'll, I'll let you finish that part. Come here. Good. Ew. Okay, got one. Prince. Stop it. Come here. Prince. Look at this. Come here, Prince. Ugh, I'm ruining my outfit. Guys, beyond. Got them. Since I can't trust you to not run away and go into the house, let's go back to the house. Let's go. All right. Now I'm gonna go on the swing. It's actually my neighbor's swing and they don't know that I go on it. But I sneak on and go on it, it's fun. I'm reading right now. It's called The Power of When by Michael Bruce. He's actually my sleep doctor. He's a genius and I love working with him. And this book is just really just informative and just teaches you about the power of basically timing out your sleep schedule and everything in your life and how much it makes a difference. So thank you, Dr. Bruce. I love your book. Another thing I've been doing a lot in quarantine is cooking. And I love everything that Daily Harvest makes. They have these amazing smoothies, which are delicious. And they have bites, which are like hazelnut and chocolate, the avocado. And then right now I'm gonna make a smoothie. This is a strawberry peach. Let's see what other flavor. Oh yeah, this one is delicious. I'm actually gonna make this one. This is mint and cacao. So it's like, it literally tastes like mint chip ice cream, but healthy. Sick. Okay, so it's very simple. Open it. So it's all organic, and there's banana, spinach, cacao, cashew, peppermint, chlorella, and vanilla bean. So basically, we could do this with almond milk 
or with water. Like almond milk is better. Just fill it to the top with the almond milk. Put it in the blender. Up. And now you have your own homemade smoothie. Another thing I've been doing in quarantine is eating a lot. So it's important to eat healthy snacks. I love these bites. These are hazelnut and chocolate with avocados, dates, hazelnut, cacao. I don't know how to pronounce that, like reishi or reishi. Chia and vanilla bean, all organic. Just pour out the little bites. Delicious. And then also these ones I love. They're called coconut and lemon bites with coconut, dates, lemon, ginger, cinnamon, and something called galangal. Galangal? I don't know. I have no idea what it is, but it sounds really healthy. <laughs> and it tastes really good. And that's important with snacks. Tasting good, but also healthy. Other bites. These are so cute. These are perfect if you're having like a little, I don't know, not party because it's quarantine, but when quarantine's over and you can invite people over, these are great just to have like as little hors d'oeuvres. Another one of my favorite healthy snacks is the new flatbreads that they make. So we have the kale and coriander or the tomato and cremini. So this one's on cauliflower bread. And this is on sweet potato bread. So let's look at the ingredients. What do I feel like? So either the sweet potato flatbread with sweet potato, red cabbage, kale, cauliflower, spinach, and coriander, or the cauliflower flatbread. So that has cauliflower, cremini, asparagus, tomato, onion, and black garlic. I think I'm more in the mood for this like sweet potato vibe. All right. These, again, super simple. Let's take it out of the packaging. So I'm gonna preheat the oven to 450 and bake for 18 to 22 minutes until the edges are deep golden brown. So wait till it's tan. So let me get this. That's another thing that I love about it. If you feel like being healthy, you can go this way. But if you want to, you know, treat yourself, you can add on some toppings. Cheddar cheese. So I didn't realize I left some cheese in there from before. So let me get that out. <laughs> Should have checked this before. Sick. Okay. So now I need to find like the little scratchy thing and scratch this off. gone. Take the tin foil. And now it's ready to go in. ready. Delicious flatbread pizza. All right, so I have this, I have my bites. Smoothie. Nice. 
That's Snack Time with Paris. Another one of my favorite things to do during quarantine is to paint. I love to be creative. I have my beautiful model here today. Princess! So this is another art project that I've been working on the past couple weeks. I've always been obsessed with Hello Kitty since I was a little girl. So I made this whole collage and I've been cutting out all these pieces and pictures and photos I've been collecting of her. And now I'm just gonna be placing them everywhere. So each piece is basically a separate piece. And then I'm gonna make a full on collage, which is gonna be awesome. Once I finish it, I'm gonna put some more pieces on and then after, I'm gonna take some paint, spray paint, like maybe neon pink, neon green, kind of like do some like, I don't know yet, I'm trying to think, like stars or just tagging my name, or writing Hello Kitty, like kind of in a graffiti. And then after, I'm going to gloss it. So I'm gonna put resin on it and make it very shiny, just like I do with a lot of my pieces. I love this. Someone got a tattoo of Hello Kitty. So I found all these different tattooed pictures. Kuro Kuro B. That looks like Diamond when she's in a bad mood. All these characters bring back so many memories. When I was little, I was obsessed with going to the Sanrio store at the Beverly Center. And it was basically like an entire store of Hello Kitty and all the characters. And my sister and I would go in there and just get all of our school supplies and backpacks and pencil cases and erasers and, and they had cute kitchenware so we had like a pink toaster, a pink Hello Kitty coffee maker, um, pink Hello Kitty phone. I don't know, I was obsessed with Hello Kitty. I still am. I think I always will be. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the Malibu edition today. I had such a fun day. I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure